Hi, welcome to Tantalus Oracle. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for the new subscribers. Um, and thank you for liking and sharing the videos. So today I'm going to be doing a reading on John Bland. This is a request uh, video. Now, I don't know a lot of information about what happened or about him. I think he's out of Philadelphia. Um, this happened back in 2010. Uh, he was 18. Yeah, he hadn't quite turned 19 yet. Um, and they said it was a suicide. So we're trying to look and see if it was a suicide or something else. So before I did the reading, I looked into, you know, his situation and it doesn't look like a, a suicide to me. Um, it looks like it was a robbery for some money. If it wasn't just a robbery, it was some bad feel some bad blood between him and another person this person is connected to one of probably one of his cousins um and maybe a female involved in that so we're going to look into that today to see what's going on with that and for those of you just joining me probably don't know how i, do. I don't like to have a lot of information about the person that I'm reading. So a lot of times it may be like, oh, she could just look, but no, I don't like to look because I don't want any of the information that I read to be interpreted into what I get. I want it to be organic. So whatever I get is whatever I get without no prior knowledge. Okay, uh, whatever I tell you at the beginning of the video is pretty much all I know. Okay. Okay, so oh, let me do the other cards first. So I do these cards first to get an overview, and then I go into these cards to get more information or to clarify what I already got. John Lamb. So first off, I got someone lying, being deceptive, and then I got someone lying, being deceptive. Then I got somebody that's in a commitment or, or someone who made a commitment. That means you made a vow. That don't mean that it's like a relationship. That means you uh, obligated yourself to something or someone. And then I have somebody that's going along with whatever this is. All right. These cards came out. I'm going to put them back in. But I'm going to show you what I got. This is the chaos. This is somebody who uh, that you would think that would be there for you in your time of need. Then this is a stranger, something that's strange to you or a strange person or a strange place. And then I have someone you enjoy spending time with or someone not realizing the situation that they're in. Okay, so that came up. Okay, put those back in there. Okay, and then now I have somebody who's only like a selfish person, only thinks about themselves. And then I have somebody receiving some type of help. I'm going to show you the cards I got. Okay. Here. And the last two. Okay, so I'm going to clarify this liar. Someone lying, being deceptive. So that means that somebody is trying to... Um, hide some things about the situation or they are lying to someone. So if somebody lies, if I get somebody is lying, that means somebody had to ask them about it. Okay. So that means it has to be somebody that you've already talked to about the situation. Somebody talked to you. So if I come to you and I ask you a question, you tell me a lie. That means you are a liar. Okay. You can't lie until somebody asks you a question. So when somebody's lying and being deceptive, that means somebody asked this person about it and they tell a lie.
Okay, so what this person that's lying and being deceptive, okay, this deception in here as well, not only lies, but we have deception. Somebody is deceiving you. They're trying to hide some things from you, okay? Now with that, I have this card, which means somebody has told the truth about something. That means they're not lying. So I'm going to explain what that means in a second when I show you the other card. Because then I have here someone's plotting on you, setting you up. So with these two together, somebody has told somebody else what they're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to set them up like this and we're going to do this, this, that, and the third. So whoever this person is plotting with, they are in, they are fully aware of the situation that's going on. So it is not like, oh, it happened and we didn't know. It's not like that. They know because they're setting you up and they're sharing. They're doing this together because they or they told somebody exactly what they're going to do. And I say that because it's right next to the, the um, commitment card. That means that you have committed yourself to something. And then I have somebody being submissive as well. So this lets me know that when they set this up, they told somebody the truth about what they were going to do, but they were being deceptive. Okay. So they could have been deceptive to John. Okay. Or it could be like this. I tell you, we're going to do this. And I tell you everything I'm going to do in this setup. Okay. I'm setting up like this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to rob him. But then I'm not being fully, I'm not full, fully disclosing everything that I'm going to do because I'm being deceptive in this. So even though I say I'm going to rob you, I'm going to do some other stuff too, but I'm being deceptive to you. You think I'm telling you everything because I'm telling you what I'm going to do, but I'm being deceptive in that as well because I might have an ulterior motive. Okay, so go on, commitment. Okay, so now you have the commitment. So this means you could be in a committed relationship or you have committed yourself to something or someone. Okay, so I committed myself to helping you do whatever it is that I'm going that you asked me to do, whatever the situation is, I'm committed to. Then with that, I have somebody being caught up in somebody else's mess, chaos. Okay, see all this it's chaos surrounding this person. See, this person is at peace. They don't have no problems, but there's chaos surrounding them. So this is the innocent person being surrounded by chaos. So it's not anything that this person had initiated. It's somebody else bringing them into it or bringing it to them. And then you have somebody who feels like what they do is right or they're doing the right thing. So it doesn't matter if it is right. I feel like it's right or I feel like I have the right to do whatever it is that I want to do. It doesn't mean it's right. So here you have somebody feeling like whatever this situation is, they have the uh, they have the authority. They have the right to do whatever it is that they want to do. But see, they're bringing this chaos to this person that has nothing to do with it or this person didn't do anything to you they didn't cause anything whatever they're innocent but you bring in the chaos to them because you feel like you have that right and this is connected to somebody that you have some type of commitment with or two now we have somebody being submissive in this so so far i got someone lying and being deceptive or bringing or having some deception around something that they're trying to set up even though they told somebody something they may not have fully disclosed their other motive they told you what they were going to do but they may not have fully disclosed it to this person or they were being deceptive to john and he didn't know okay but then you have this person that's and has some type of commitment Okay, be, and then they're getting pulled into something right here. All right. Now you have somebody going along with something.
So the submissive, the first card that comes out with this is the submissive. So the first card comes out is this bullheaded. That means you know how you got somebody, no matter what you tell this person, hey, don't do that. They just do it anyway. And it's like, you cannot stop this person. I don't care what happens, how much you try to talk to them. They're just going to do whatever it is they want to do anyway. They're hard headed. Okay. So that's probably why this person is going along with it. Hey, they're going to do it anyway. It's not like I can stop them. Okay. And then we have that with some illegal activity or drug use. So that means there's some drugs involved or some illegal activity here that's going on connected to that. And also this is the police. So this person could have some involvement with the police because they've been doing some illegal things as well, or they have some involvement with some drugs here. So this could be why the police is involved. This, this person is also determined, hard headed. Okay. But see, somebody is going along with this, whatever, whoever this person is. Okay. Now, the authorities is also like the police or something like that, but it also means whoever's setting this whole thing up, they're the person behind it. They're the authority. They're controlling things. Okay. Now, somebody who's only thinking about themselves, selfish, self absorbed person. Okay, so with this, I have somebody not getting something that they want. So let's just say I asked you for something. I need something. And I asked you, hey, can you do this for me? And you're like, no, I'm not doing that. And now I'm upset because I'm not getting what I want. Like, why you can't do it? I want it. Okay, so this is somebody who's wanting something that they can't get. You have the cheating. So. Now you have somebody cheating you out of something or cheating on you, okay? And then here I have, this is, I call this, if you watch this all the time, this is my hustler card. I mean, this is somebody who have an alternative lifestyle. Now that means that, or alternative ways of earning money or living. They don't have, they're not the stable person where, when I mean stable, that means they don't live right here, work right there come here and there. They all over the place. So they may travel for work. They may do other little things, hustle for work. They may move from here. They may be living here today and somewhere else tomorrow or next week or whatever. So that is this type of person right here. Okay. So you have that with somebody is either trying to cheat this person out of something because they're not getting something that they want, or there's some cheating going on as well. So when I say cheating, cheating in a relationship or Cheating, meaning I know something is valued at X amount, but I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to get it from you for less. So I'm trying to cheat you out of it because you may not know the value of it. So I want to get it from you for less. So I'm trying to cheat you out of the value of something. So here you go. Somebody trying to either cheating on you or cheating you out of something because they're not getting something that they want from you. And then here is it's connected to somebody who, like I said, lives all has that alter hustler, whatever you want to call it. This person is thinking about themselves. So whoever this person is, just thinking about themselves. Okay, and they're not getting what they want from you. This person is a liar and they're being deceptive. They plotting and setting you up, but they they didn't told somebody what they're going to do here. Now you got this person right here that has this commitment, they're going along with it because I have that next to the submissive card, okay? So this person that they have this commitment to, they are pulling somebody else into their situation that has nothing to do with them, okay? But they feel like, okay, well, you know, they have the right or it's okay because he ain't, he need this or they didn't do this for him, whatever their reasoning is, okay? They feel like that person has the right to do that, okay? Now, this is somebody that is receiving assistance.
So somebody got help with something, but then we have that with the secret. So there's some secrets being involved in this. So we am going to look into the secrets. And then I have somebody trying to get away from a person or a situation. So whoever this person that needed help or requested help, okay, they're trying to separate themselves from a person or a situation. They don't want to be connected to it. There's some secrets. They could be keeping the secrets because they don't want to be connected to it. OK, they don't want to be connected to it because they probably helped the person, but they don't want anybody to know that they are connected. That's why they're keeping it a secret. They don't want anybody to know that they helped or received help from someone. And they're trying to separate themselves from the situation. And the situation is here. Well, I said somebody is going along with something. So this person could have helped. Whatever this plot was, they could have been submissive. That means you're going along with whatever the plan is or you're not saying anything you know. OK, that person don't want anybody to know. They want to keep it a secret that they helped. OK, that they were submissive. With. This, which is like I said, somebody behind it, the authorities, whatever this illegal activity. They don't want anybody to know because, see, this person was like had already made up their mind. I'm going to do this. I don't care what y'all say. I'm going to do it. They had already had up in their mind that this was what they're going to do. So this person just going along with it. Now I'm going to pull another part. Secrets. Mm -mm. Secrets. Okay, so the secret, okay, what they don't want people to know or what they're keeping to themselves, okay? This came out with someone that you support, someone that you think would support you, someone that would be there in your time of need, okay? And then here, a significant change happening in, in your life. So this means that, let's just say, you were gainfully employed, you were able to take care of yourself and then you get fired from your job and you're no long, longer able to do that. So that was a significant change was you getting fired and unable to handle yourself. OK, so this is something, a significant change happening in your life, whether you did it on your own, like I'm just going to quit, you know, or you got fired. So whatever that was, that change happened in your life was very significant. It caused a, a big change in your life. OK. Here was someone that you thought was there for you. So someone that you thought was there for you. OK. Cause a significant change in your life. Well, that person wanted you to be there for them and they had a significant change in their life and they wanted you to be there for them to support them in some type of way. So they may, they may have needed some type of support from you because they had a change in their life. OK. So now we got that. Now I'm going to go, no, let me connect this. So like I said, this person had the, the change in their life. You know, they're trying to separate themselves from the situation. This going back to that person who only thinks about themselves. And that person wanted something that they wasn't getting. So they may have wanted to cheat you out of something, beat you out of something. Somebody could have been cheating, whatever the case may be. With this person here, that was that hustler. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the other cards. See what comes out with those. Okay, so let's see. 
Okay, so we have the sun. This is somebody's happiness. So somebody could be ha just happy. Happiness sets in abundance. So somebody could just be doing well, okay? Doing well, feeling well. And then we have something going on in this home. So if somebody's in this home, they could be enjoying themselves in this home. They could be happy, whatever the situation may be. And then we have somebody is alive. Alive means that you are alive. Or it means that you are fully aware of what's going on of in the in the situation. Okay, so you're not oblivious, you know. So here you have something going on in this home. Somebody is full aware of what's ever going on in this home, and but then you have here the happiness, success, and abundance, the sun. But this could also just be the daytime. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so now now we have recreational car. Now with the sun. So these two together lets me know y'all were in this home having fun doing recreational thing. You just having fun. You like hanging out with these people. Y'all having fun. You happy, whatever the case may be. You doing recreational things. Whatever that recreational thing is, you happy in it. Okay. Now in this home, I got the karma. So somebody giving you karma in this house. So whatever house he was at, somebody came there and gave him some karma. This karma came from somebody he did recreational activities with. Because remember those cards that came out in the beginning and I put them back. I said, somebody you enjoy spending time with or you do not understand the situation that you are in or both of those things could apply. So here you have somebody doing recreational activity, hanging with somebody. They re Recreational could be a recreational area, park, whatever, lake, theme park, whatever. You go somewhere and have fun. It could also mean someone that you hang out in your recreational time, just things that you do in your recreational time, people you see in your recreational time with the karma. Then we have the legacy. The legacy is something that you are known for. So people are fully aware of what he is known for. We know he got this. We know he be doing this. We know he be over here. They're fully aware of his legacy. But also, we have that with the karma. That's why he's getting the karma. Because of what he's known for. What he's known for. For doing legacy could also be something that you leave behind. So people being alive, his legacy is alive with the alive card. That means people are fully aware of who you are and what you got going on, what you got, what you hold on to, what you represent, whatever, however you want to see it, however you want to say it. OK, but then we have that legacy leading to the karma and the karma is coming from somebody that he has spent recreational time with. OK. So we have 
someone older than him, an elder. This could be a grandparent as well. Somebody that could be an uncle. It could be a father. But it just means that some a mother, whoever, it don't have to be a male or a female. I mean, it can be a male or a female. But it just means that somebody is older than you. Transportation. Somebody older than him could have took him in the car, transportation, to this house. Transport just means you take one a person from one place to another. I'm transporting you from here to there. But you're in a vehicle. It's going to be a vehicle or somebody taking you from here to there. Okay. And then here we have this. Somebody trying to flirt. Now, flirting has two meanings. It can mean I'm flirting with you. Or it could mean I'm trying to decide. I'm going through different things that I can do. OK, or that I want to do. So here you have this older person transporting him, taking him somewhere to this house. And then they're trying. But then you got people trying to decide what they're going to they going. OK, we can do this or we can do that to him. Like you trying to come, go through a scenario of different things that you can do. Because we already saw that somebody was getting help to set this person up. So now you, you're trying to decide what it is that you're going to do. Because you're fully aware of who this person is, what he got, what he got going on, who he, what's he, what he's about. Okay, you know his legacy. You know who he is. So now you're fully aware of that, and now you're trying to decide what it is that you're going to do. Then you have the karma. The karma, somebody getting back at you, okay, in this home. And in this home, somebody took him there. OK, or this could be in a vehicle, a vehicle at the house or somebody took him. To the home and then you have this older person here. See the happiness with this. So somebody you enjoy spending time with as well, but also this person did found joy and happiness in this situation. They ain't feel no type of way. Person could have been jealous of him. But it's saying that, like, you know he got it on him, or you know he got it. The man with a beard. Okay, so now you know how people have the beard with the mustaches, it's like black, but it's kind of like that bushy. We got like a round face. Okay, so now I got the violence coming out here with somebody he spent recreational time with, or that happened when he was just hanging out, like he was just hanging out, recreational time. Somebody he spent recreational time with. We got the violence with that. Okay. So violence and karma is not somebody unaliving themselves. It is, but karma, no, it's not. So then we have here the dark. So somebody is keeping things hidden in the dark. They don't want you to know what's going on with this karma. They was given karma, but they're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide this violence. And then who we got coming up here? A devil on this legacy. Okay. We got this devil knowing full well who this guy is. This devil trying to decide what he's going to do, what she's going to do. I'm going to say, man, what he or she is going to do. Because see, they're fully aware of the situation. They're fully aware of everything. There is not no hidden thing. They don't know about it. They're oblivious. It ain't none of that. They know full well. Okay. That's why they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Okay. To get whatever it is they want. And they're trying to keep it hidden that they gave him karma in this house. So we got the violence coming out as well.
Let's see this little whoever this guy with this beard on. He got it. Like he's you know how people be they be trying to act like they're your friend, but they secretly jealous of you because they mad because you doing a little bit better than them. But then when you get in front of their face, oh man, what's up? How you doing? That type of person. As soon as your back turns, you think you all that. That type of person. It seems like he's a little bit. He's brown as skin, but he's shorter than John. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we have this. Something was stolen from him. They took something of his. And whoever took it was somebody that's older than him. See that happiness says abundance and prosperity here. You happy. You got this. But this also represents you getting some money. You took something. Probably the money. So next to the stolen. Now we have this. You took him to the house to do this. Hey, man, let's hang out. You took him to the house to do this because, see, you got somebody taking him to this house or in a vehicle at the house for this. And we already said they're trying to hide something right here. We already had somebody lying to be deceptive in the first part. And then we got this karma coming out. We already had somebody plotting on you already. And then we have this, the animal with the uh, next to the kill. So animal means anywhere. So it could have been some animals around. Somebody, this person could have an animal at their house or something like that. I don't know. But this also means the savageness, a person, how savage a person is. Like somebody could be a savage person. It could be a savage. You know, and I said they had a savage beating. It was a savage attack or whatever. But this person could just have dogs. Over there or something. I'm like a dog, a dog, and um, whatever they call them, dogs. Okay, so this person could just have a dog over there, animal. But then you have the animal with somebody trying to just to decide what they're going to do. They're fully aware, conscious and um, aware of what what they're going like. They they got it in their mind. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to get so-and-so to come over here and help me. Whatever they're going to, because I already seen them. Got somebody trying to help them out. Animal with this devil on this legacy. Okay. So this legacy could mean your children as well. So it could be somebody's child connected. Because I already said that it's, I believe it's one of his cousins, friends, and some female, who, however that goes. Okay. Now, with this, like I said, they're trying to keep this hidden. That karma. They took something of his. Okay. During that violence. And nothing, I got a, a suicide card. I haven't seen it yet. Get that card. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Okay, I had to get that card. So now this is the card that came out. Death with the violence. This violence caused or led to his death. All right. Who he was hanging out, like I said, whoever he was with. Then I have this left behind. Somebody took you somewhere and left you there. Abandoned you somewhere. 
Okay. So after this, they took him somewhere and abandoned him. They abandoned him after this because they're trying to keep some things hidden. So let's just say we hanging out. Oh, let me get this last shot. And then we had the court, somebody feeling justified in what they do, somebody wanting justice, somebody being in the justice system, somebody could have had a court case, okay? And that's what this devil legacy. So this devil could have knew this person had this, or this devil could have done it because they felt justified in, in doing whatever they, they wanted to do. All right, so now we got somebody. Now let's just say, like I said, he's hanging out with his with these people at this house. Now I don't know where he was found in the house, in the car, outside, whatever. I don't know. So wherever, let's say he's in the house. We don't want him in the house. We want to take him outside. We want to put him in this other room, whatever it was. And then we we take you in there. We do what we're gonna do, and we leave you in there. And then we, oh, he, this happened. We don't know. We just left you in there after we did this. We did this. This happened. And then we left you in there. And then we did this. Took some of your stuff. Okay. Because in the first part, we had somebody wanted something that, that he wasn't going to give him. Like, man, can you help me? You can you? No, I ain't doing it. So now you upset. Yeah, like can't do nothing for nobody, you know, whatever. So we got that. And now this card fell out on the floor. This is this is data information. Okay. Somebody has some information. So somebody has information, okay? Some information on you, some data on you, some insight on you, whatever the case is, okay? And then we have that, somebody trying to protect or defend themselves. So somebody got some information, but see, they're being protective. They're trying to protect themselves. So maybe they're holding on to this information. Because remember I said in the first part, somebody is trying to separate themselves. They don't want nobody to know that they involved or will have knowledge or anything about what happened to him. So they're trying to protect themselves. They're protecting this information. They don't want nobody to know, keeping secrets. Because something happened that was not supposed to happen. Because see, remember I said that I'm telling you, okay, we're going to set them up. I mean, we're going to do this. We're just going to set them up. We're just going to rob them or whatever. We're going to get them drunk. We're going to rob them. Just say that what happened. And then in the midst of that, something went wrong. Or it probably didn't go wrong when somebody felt it went wrong because that wasn't the whole thing of what I, you told me. We, you just said we was going to rob them. You didn't say we was going to do this. So that person was lying to be in the center, even though they told the person what the plan was. They didn't tell them the whole plan because they had their own motive. That's why they were being deceptive about that setup because they didn't want somebody else to fully know what was going to happen. And so now you got somebody over here got information. They got information on him. But see, they're trying to protect themselves because something went wrong. Yeah, I was up for the robbery, but I went up for that part. I went up for this. I was just up for this. Because this is in the same position. You can't see it. But these are in the same position that I had it laid. So when somebody said they're going to create a plan of what they're going to do. And they was telling this person. This older person. It's older than them. Like I said. Like this is what we're going to do. Now the person got caught up in something they didn't know anything about. And now they want to separate themselves. Oh, shit. I don't want to be connected to that. So now I have to protect myself with this information that I have. Okay. 
because they ain't what the plan was. Now, this card came out. Now, this is the virus. Now, it could be an actual virus, like you get a virus. But this means somebody is a contagious person, a virus to the community as well. So that means you are uh, you will have a negative effect on something. The people you surrounded, the people you surrounded with could be a virus. So if you are around a lot of negative people that don't mean you no good, you are surrounded by a virus. These people are a virus, okay? Or, like I said, it could be an actual virus that you have. I'm not saying that it's some type of sickness. It don't have to be no health thing, you know, like that. Somebody could have a virus in their body that causes certain things, okay? Let me see what this is about. Okay, so I got this. Something internal causing something causing internal damage to the body. So somebody has something going on. Okay, whether somebody knew about it or not. Okay, but this is causing internal damage to your body. This virus somebody had. Now um, the mother know what I'm talking about because I already asked her about it, so she knows what I'm saying. Okay. Um, but then you also have the jealousy coming out here as well. Somebody was jealous, envious, or hatred. Now, since I had this with this and this, this just means that whatever this was, it was causing some damage to his body. And this just means because it didn't get along with whatever it was in his body was affecting him in a negative way. And it was causing uh, damage to his body. Okay. And no, we ain't talking about no sexual thing. Not that type of virus. Okay. So I want oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to look at something else. I wanted to see. Let's see how long it is. I don't really need that long. I want to see. Okay, here it is. I just want to pull one more card on two of these cards. Okay, this one and this one, the elder and the court. Okay. Elder, this person. So whoever this person was that was older than him, they're the person that did something to him. Because see here, you got somebody saying no to stop. He's telling this person, no, he don't want whatever they're about to do. He don't want them to do it. Then we have this blood object causing trauma to the body. So whoever this older person is, John is telling them, no, they don't want to stop. Okay. So no, stop. Don't do whatever you're about to do. And this is causing that blood trauma to his body. Now the court card. Okay, so with the court card here, like I said, this means that somebody is doing something because they feel justified or they want justice. But this one is because somebody feels like they got the right to do something. Because remember, I got somebody said what they feel like is right, even though it's not right. I, I'm justified in whatever I want to do. Okay, that somebody has the capacity, the ability, the capabilities to do something. All right. So that means you you have the the know with all the wherewithal whatever you want to call it the ability to do something. 
to get justice because you feel justified. Okay. And then we have this with somebody that was trusted. So whoever this is, is it whoever this is is somebody that he trusted, is somebody that's older than him. Okay. So that is John Bland. You can leave your comments in the comment section. And thank you for watching.